All right, Tuesday night, second night of the week. I'm working on the boat. Last night I was tidying up all of the paint that Nick and I stripped off at the weekend with an orbital sander, 60 grit disc, I think, maybe an 80, I'm not sure. Um, but that kind of ripped off all the loose stuff quite nicely. Kind of looks a mess, but it's lovely and smooth. And that's what we want. And under here as well, it's also nice and smooth. So that means uh, now I can clean out these lands in between the planks here with that vibrating tool. I know that looks quite dark, um, but the reason for that is because I've just coated it in a crazy mix. So it's kind of shiny and wet. I've removed the gunnel up there so I can access the nails underneath there. Didn't really need to do that, but I wanted to get this chain plate out here I've managed to get out and the gunnel was over the top of it and it would not let it go so I had to remove the gunnel um, to get access to that chain plate and as you can see the wood here is not in terribly great condition and in actual fact we can see the end grain of the deck there and there's a little gap between the deck and that top shear plank so this chain plate here uh, has been taken off um, and it's still got quite a lot of meat in it really as far as a piece of metal goes I could clean it up with um, you know like an angle grinder um, and it's still pretty chunky only problem is it's mild steel so if I want to try and stop it from rusting I can galvanize it um, but I've kind of learned that galvanized stuff seems to react with mahogany really badly don't really know why that's something perhaps either you can help me with or I can research a bit further so I mean in the ideal world this here would be either stainless or bronze it's bolted to the side of the boat side of the hull like this and on the top here is one of the rigging cables that essentially holds up the mast so when she's sailing in heavy weather this chain plate really does a lot of work so uh, it's important that it's strong and that it's going to last. I've got a couple of ideas in my head about either making one of these, six of these in fact, there are six of these on the boat, either making six of these out of a bit of stainless plate or casting, my, casting some myself out of bronze. Um, it's quite a bit of material there though. So six of those made out of bronze, probably going to cost a fair bit but certainly that will outlive the boat, certainly outlive me. So I'm gonna take it home, I'm gonna weigh it, see how much it weighs, do some measurements, that kind of thing, do a bit of research and see what I can find out. Any advice on what you think I should do, comment below or drop me a message. So it's nearly 12 o'clock and we're halfway through our target for today. Um, four planks down. Yep. Five to go. Something like that. Ironically, nearly finished and we've just about worked out the quickest and best system for burning the paint off. <laughs> yep. So if anybody wants their boat stripped. Fully I qualified. I think we know what we're doing now that we've nearly finished. Don't say that, because we haven't finished yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
seriously hot today. It's 25 degrees Celsius outside, uh, so not probably the best day to be using the propane blowtorch, trying to burn off paint, because it's a really hot, manky job anyway. Um, when, when it's this hot, it just makes it even more sticky and stressful and bleh. Anyway, Nick and I have finished burning all of the anti-foul off the bottom of the boat. Uh, which is a huge turning point. I'm really pleased that all of that anti-foul is off now. Um, we haven't stripped the keel timber. I don't really want to do that. Um, but yep, that's what we've done today.